All right, so in today's video, we'll be unboxing and looking at the Retro Fighter Brawler 64 wireless gamepad, and let's get into it. All right, so we got this guy. I finally got this guy in after waiting for a pre-order from Castlevania Games. Link will be down in the description. It's affiliate link, so we'll get a kickback if you buy anything or specifically this controller too. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. I didn't think we need to switch to a different camera angle. I don't think there's too much in this. I think it's just literally the controller and the port that goes onto the console itself. I don't know if it even comes with a charging cable. It does. So you get a little piece of plastic here with the controller, which we'll check out in a second. And then you got the, uh, the guy that goes under the console, the little port here. And it looks like it's got an interface. I assume that's for saving since this should already have rumble in it. So I don't know if this works with the rumble in the 64. Let me know down in the comments if you guys know, but it is USB-C, which is kind of cool. I haven't actually opened this up yet or looked really at the products at all. There's a little piece of paper here. So I'll throw the box and the little plastic insert away. And uh, let's see, there's D-pad start, A and B. I don't know if there's rumble in this. There's turbo. There is dual Z triggers, which I think is really cool, as well as the shoulder buttons and then a reset button. And then there's some instructions on how to pair. And so I'm not gonna go through too much of, this, of playing games with this guy. I might cover that in a future video, but so this is actually very light. And uh, I guess it's probably about the same as this, but I expected this to feel a little bit heavier, especially since it's wireless, has battery in there. I expect this is where it'd be a little bit heavier, but not a big deal there. So there's this again, which I believe this is for memory cards. It'd be kind of interesting to what happens if you put a rumble pack here, but then you got a USB-C to A, which is kind of cheap feeling, but this also was a pretty cheap controller. I think I got it for $30 uh, on sale, I think. So it's not too expensive, a little keychain from retro fighters and so this guy plugs into one of the ports but let's see like that all right so like that and if you have more of them which i plan to get more on different colors let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see when i actually get those if you want me to like show that off at all or if you guys want to see how this works with it i assume it works really well i've heard really good things about retro fighters so i'm not too worried about showing you around how long it takes or you know latency or anything like that. I'm sure it's pretty accurate if people are buying them. So let's see, controller based. It's a little mushy. Okay, so this is the original uh, 64 controller. I don't know if it's an actual original one. It says Nintendo on it, so I think it is, but buttons are kind of, I like, I like the feel of the 64 controller. So I don't, I don't love the D-pad. First impression is I don't like the D-pad, like I just said, but I think I get used to it. It's not like it's the worst D-pad, but it is kind of larger, I guess more like surface area rather than this guy. It feels like it's a little bit more of you know where you're pressing, whereas this is kind of like, it's in the name Retro Fighters. It feels like a fighting D-pad. So I guess that is a good thing, right? You got L and R. I... Not sure how I like the L and R. I kind of like the more gradual press than the empty feeling press. Just feels like I'm pressing like nothing, like there's nothing underneath it. Uh, the Z's are pretty nice. You only ever use one at a time since they do the same thing. But yeah, I think it, they're, they're pretty nice. I think I can get used to the controller, but I definitely, you can see the LED there. Sorry for anyone that's sensitive to light, uh, flashing lights, but I do like that it's USB-C, so that's really nice. And it has all the buttons there. Uh, let's see. 
It's got the same type of feel with the joystick, but it's a little bit better movement, I think, rather than, this one feels a little bit, because there's a rubber band in this, it feels kind of, has, it has a lot of tension in it. So you can kind of feel that you have to push a lot farther as well as it's higher up and everything. This controller needs cleaning, but set that down again. I think I enjoy this guy. Feels more modern and still has a little, was it eight sides to it instead of the normal, was it four, six? Or I don't actually know. Let me write down in the comments, but I, I like this one. Yeah, I think I, I think I get used to this controller mostly for that, for the joystick. Feels a lot more modern, feels a lot more freeing than this does, as well as just the hand placements. I, I like this one more, um, but I also need to play some games with it, figure out if I actually enjoy this more, but I feel like I would. I feel like I would in the long term. I don't know about battery life on this guy, so I will leave that down in the comments if I find out that it's got terrible battery life or anything like that. I'm also not sure about range or like what type of wireless they're using. I believe it's 2.4. It shouldn't have any issues like a TV remote would if you're standing in front of it. It should work just fine as long as, as, long as you're not directly like between a wall. You should be fine with someone walking by and it will still recognize your inputs. But that is a concern, especially with the older consoles. So. I'm sure that's how that is, but I'll leave a comment down in the comment section if there is a issue with that. Other than that, my biggest thing is it's very light. I kind of like my controllers heavier. Um, I have a good video coming up about the Elite controllers for Xbox, and they're heavier, and I like that rather than these lighter controllers, but I understand that some people like lighter controllers, and I can deal with them versus some people that wouldn't like the heavier controllers just wouldn't buy them because they can't, you know, they don't like dealing with that heavier controller. My wife was bringing that up with the Elite controllers as well, hurting her wrist and stuff. So I think for the most part, it's better to go light than it is heavier, but I do enjoy having a heavier controller. It feels better in my hands. We are in the process of moving, so that's why I'm not showing you all of it, but I will hopefully have the video up soon around how it play, behaves in game and show you guys some footage on that as maybe some latency tests if I can actually feel it or not or saying it as a great controller just so that you guys can go pick one up and then write down in the comments what color you guys like if you guys go check those out as well as are you guys buying them I'm probably gonna buy a lot more retro fighter controllers because there's a ps2 one I believe coming out I'm looking at the Dreamcast one as well so look out for videos on those as well as more videos on the N64 on GameCube. I've gotten some adapters and different cables and so I want to try to start testing those out as well as uh, other types of videos and maybe if I go live I do want to get back into a normal stream schedule but we are moving as well so look out for that and maybe look at Twitter or Discord for that if you guys want to check out the stream schedule or just Leave notifications on this channel and you'll get notified for that. Before we get out of here, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos or go live or uh, we're going to get community posts at 500 so lots of different things you can get notified for if you're subscribed and you have bell notifications on so go ahead and do that. Look at down in the description for all types of links to Twitter, Discord, merch, Patreon that I really haven't started yet, but but if you're interested, just let me know on here and I will start that up uh, a little bit more consistently. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.